Hi there everyone, I'm Egg Fur, and welcome to the video. Uh, my name's Gizmo, I'm from the channel Gizmo Spoon. So Gizmo, we're doing a bit of a collaboration here. Um, I, I'm calling it collaboration, you've done most of the work to be honest. But uh, do you want to tell us what this is all about then? Uh, so about a year ago, I made a password door, but it's different from a passkey door where you have an item that right. is renamed. In this case, it's any stackable item but you could have, uh, in this case, up to five stackable items, and they could all be renamed and stuff. Okay, so that's hence so, five lights at the top here. Yep, so it stands for each letter of the password. Okay, so, so that's pretty cool. Over... Yeah, so it's often you find that people use either items or they might have a, a button combination lock. But obviously with those button locks, people can see you pressing the button, so it's not that secure, is it? Um, so this one's a bit, is uh, well, it's a lot more secure, I guess. So is this, would you call this the ultimate vault, Gizmo? Uh, I would say it's close. Okay, cool. It's, it's well right. on its way. All right, brilliant. So tell me about this chess, and there's a little question here. What would make this a lot easier? Uh, oh, and you'll notice that it's a five-letter word. Um, and if we go over to that barrel, uh, we, we have a guess. Ah, here we go. A laser. Brilliant. And like you say, I, everyone, I everyone laser likes lasers. be able to melt that door. <laughs> yeah. So let's give that a go. I've taken the letters for laser, and I'm going to what? I'm going to stick them in in here, this chest. Okay, there we go. And so it takes about six seconds to process the answer, and um, we oh. actually get individual lights per letter. So you'll notice the second and the third letter were wrong. Right. So the answer's not laser. That's what you're telling yes. me. I can't get in. Yes. Right. It's, I, it's, I, I'm going to have a guess. I'm going to have a guess. What makes life a lot easier? It's not a button that doesn't fit, uh, but it's going to be start with L and end in ER. And so it's going to be a lever, right? Yes, yes. Okay. And if you look over <laughs> into the book bookcase, you'll find into uh, the, the correct answer. Oh, wow. Okay. Into the bookcase. A mine cart with hopper hidden inside the bookcase. Very clever. Right. So now I could put, oh, uh, yep, they're stacked. I can separate them out, right? Mm hmm And write the word. So you'll notice lever. that we can use stackable items. Yep. Okay, so I spelt out lever inside the chest. I wait my six seconds. And oh, go and claim that your prize. Good. That looked good. And then the prize is a lever. It's uh, yeah. And if you actually try <laughs> to uh, open up the door with the lever, you'll notice it actually doesn't work. Okay. Uh, I think I did this trick. Is this where you put the door on sideways? Uh, actually, all of those are stairs. But if you um, toss me the lever after after you try, after you yeah. try. Well, I had to, I had to go. Uh, if I remember correctly, yep. Ah, I got it there. That is the only spot to open it. Okay, I did a trick with um, a, a door which was put on sideways so that when it's powered, it looks closed, which means you couldn't power the lever. Uh, you have to mm -hmm. unpower the door to open it. But yeah, okay, that's cool. Well done. So, so if you come outside, yeah, let's uh, let's go. Brilliant. Well, so you'll see, it's a it's not so small build. Okay, it's pretty big. In fairness, so Gizmo, the reason it's so big is because you've got all the fancy stuff on this one. You've got the lights that light up. You've got the the music for the uh, success and failure jingle. So actually, the the actual contraption itself is, is fairly small, and that's what we're going to look at today, I think. The reason I'm here, Gizmo, the reason I'm here is that I'm going to do a block-by-block -block video for building this, right? Yeah. So that I'm going to do... Agreement. Yeah. I'm going to do a, a slightly smaller version. I mean, it's going to be the same thing, but it's not going to have the note blocks in, and it's not going to have... I think this is all your wiring to do the lights at the top. So we're not going to do that bit. We're going to do the main circuit, and I'll show people how to uh, use that, the output from that to open the door. So that is what we'll go and do next. Uh, we're going to do a block by block build. So I'm going to leave awesome. you, Gizmo, and I'm going to get on with that. Okay, so let's dive straight in. We're going to look at two different versions of the password uh, system, password recognition system. And there's version one and version two. So that's why I've got two lines over here. 
because version one comes up to here and it is 16 blocks by nine blocks by eight blocks tall. Whereas version two is just one block wider over on this side over here. Okay, so the difference between the two versions uh, is not very much and you don't have to worry about building version one and then having to change loads of stuff because version two just adds a couple of circuits onto version one. And the difference between them essentially is that version one will not allow you to use repeated items in the password. So let's say we're using colored concrete. You couldn't have red, red, blue, blue, orange as your password. You'd have to have different items for each bit of your password. Whereas version two allows you to use repeated items. And version one also has a thing where actually if you, if you put a bunch of random items in, then your password and then a bunch of random items, so your password appears anywhere within the system in order, then you will also uh, open the door, whereas version 2 stops that. So that's the difference between the two. We're going to build uh, version 1 first, go on to version 2 straight afterwards. We're going to start over on this right-hand side here, and I'm going to find my middle block, which is this one. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in from Ivredge, actually. And then come 1, 2, 3, 4... I can place a little tower five blocks here. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Come around the other side and place a dropper facing towards me here. And I want a line of 11 droppers. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And at this side, so this is where we started, uh, we're going to have a row of blocks on the side of those droppers. It's all the way along. And then a second row just along here as well. So it looks like this. And then we're going to skip this edge one and we're going to place a solid block on top of that one. Skip one, solid block all the way along. And you see we miss out this end one as well. Then repeaters behind the solid blocks all on one tick. Like so. And just fill in the rest of this platform with redstone dust. And there we go. And this system will move items along the dropper line for us. My input for those items is going to be here into this first dropper. And I'm going to put a hopper on top of that. And I could have my trap chest on top of that hopper directly. But I want to move it just a little bit further away. Because then whatever I'm controlling with my password, I can. it's not in the way of a circuitry. So what I'll do is I'll put a barrel here. I'll have a hopper into that and then my trap chest on top of that okay so what we need is a way of actually uh, triggering this redstone dust to move the items along and the way we're going to do that is i'm going to come to the side of my first dropper here and i'm going to put a line of one two three blocks one in the middle on top one in the middle underneath and break out this middle block and then reading this hopper here we'll put a comparator a redstone dust at the back and a repeater on one tick down in that little cubby hole there. Now I want one more block against the side of redstone dust, one against the side of repeater, and one just in front of that to join it up with the redstone here. Another one tick repeater in here, and then just redstone dust. There we go. So this circuit, as items flow through this hopper, will trigger and it'll trigger all of this redstone and cause our items to be pushed gradually along this dropper line. So I've said this is going to be my input chest and the way I'm going to put items into here is I'm going to put my password along in order here. So I'll have and my password is going to be red, orange, yellow, green, blue concrete. And so the red concrete will be taken out first. That'll come through this system, get pushed along this line and it'll end up inside a send dropper. So what I need now is an item filter here which will detect red concrete. And I'm going to actually build it that item filter out of red concrete. You can use any solid block you want. You don't have to worry about it. It's just for the sakes of video, it makes it a little bit clearer, I think. So um, I'm going to come underneath the, um, the the dropper. This is where our hopper is going to be. And I want a block here. And then we're going to come out one, two, three blocks there. One, two, three blocks there. And one block in the middle like that. I can break this block. Put a repeater here, redstone dust, redstone dust, a comparator here, and finally I need a torch around the back here, just there. 
and I don't need that block. So that's a, a pretty standard item filter. It's not overflow protected, but we don't need it to be because we are going to have a gap between all of our item filters. And I'm going to build all of them exactly the same, just different colors. Um, so I'll come back once I've done that. Okay, so don't forget to come around the back and we want to break out these extra blocks that we had to place in and put torches underneath each of these in a row like this. And then we're going to have hoppers, our hoppers for the item filters, which actually have our, our filter items in, will be here and I'm placing them so they're pointing into the block behind the comparator. So that's our item filter system pretty much set up. But before we go any further, it's probably worth us just actually putting the items into these filter hoppers. So I'm going to click on there. I've got some kelp that I've renamed to some kind of randomish name, and I'm going to put four kelp in there. My first item is going to be red concrete, and I need 16, 17, 18 blocks in here. And uh, if I put another one in, in theory, it would unlike this torch down here and flow out. But we'll go along and do all of those, setting them up. So this one's going to be orange. Okay, so that's all my item filter set up. Remember for version one, you can't repeat uh, the same item in two different filters. We will be able to do that if you're going to go straight on and do version two. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is underneath these filter hoppers, I'm going to come out with one, two temporary, uh, sorry, one temporary block. And then I want a barrel. So a barrel like this. And then we're going to put temporary blocks behind all of those and barrels on each temporary block. Get rid of these. We don't need those. But then we need another hopper, which is going to be pointing into the back of each barrel. So they're pointing into the barrel this way underneath that built hopper. Come down underneath the barrels and come out. In fact, I'm going to use green for this. So this is the circuit which is actually going to detect a successful password. So we put green here and I'm going to run a line of green blocks all the way along. Next to all my barrels. I don't need these ones so they can go. And then I just need to put comparators on each of these blocks facing away from the barrels. On the front of the comparators, place another block. And we want a torch on each of those. So if my password is correct, then an item will flow into each barrel, be detected by each comparator, and they'll all light at the same time, and it'll turn off all of my torches at the same time. And when that happens, I'm going to have a line of redstone dust above here and that line of redstone dust will go out. And if and only if it goes out, because all of the torch has gone out, because my password is correct, then this torch will come on. So that's my indicator of a successful password. Okay, let's come around this side. And whilst I've still got this temporary block here, I'm going to take a normal chest this time. And I'm going to put a double chest in just here. And I want to um, two hoppers above that. So this one's in front of this uh, last dropper. And then come back underneath around the other side. And underneath all of the barrels, we're going to put a long line of hoppers coming all the way along, facing into each other so that they'll feed our items back into this door chest at the end. And make sure you don't know what I've done, which is get one the wrong way. So they should all be facing into each other and into the chest. So that's our system actually pretty much done for version one and we can give it a try. So Gizmo has been kind enough to make a couple of chests for us which have our correct answer in red, orange, yellow, green, blue and one with the incorrect answer because that last 
uh, blue concrete has been swapped with red. So I've got two, I've got a copy of each one. This is my correct one on the left of my hotbar. And this one on the right is the incorrect one. So just quick warning, the first time you use it, this will not work because um, like all item filters, there's always a um, one item to get stuck in this hopper below. So we need to load that up first. You can do it manually, but I may as well just do it by placing the items in. So you see that's working, but this does not light up. But what I've got now is I've got items in these hoppers. So second time I do it with the correct answer. Let's watch this torch. And there we go, it flashed. If I use the incorrect answer, like so, no flash. Just before I go on to show you version two, uh, I want to show you why version one has some limitations. So I've swapped this orange filter for a blue filter now. And if I come over here and I put in red, blue, yellow, green, and blue, that's how my filter is set up. And we let that go. What we'll see is that it actually doesn't work because the problem is that all the blue items get sucked into this filter here and they never reach this one. So that means that this torch will never go out the redstone dust will stay lit and our torch will be able to come on. So that doesn't work in version one. I've realized we've not quite finished version one because I need to put some blocks just around here to make sure that when items are uh, thrown out of this dropper, they don't shoot over the top of the hopper sometimes and end up landing on the ground despawning. So I'm just gonna put some glass around there and that'll make sure the items end up in this chest. Okay, so that's version one done. Let's talk about version two. So remember version one had a problem where I can't use repeated items in my password. So like these two blue concretes, because every time a blue concrete comes along, it'll get sucked into this filter. It'll never arrive here. And that means that my password won't unlock. So to make sure that um, all of these filters are used, I'm gonna lock them until I get an item that's come all the way across here and landed in this dropper at the end. So how am I gonna lock them? I'm gonna to come to this hopper, which is feeding into the barrel there. I'm gonna put a block down there. I'm gonna do the same for this next one. I'm gonna skip one and do the same for this next one. And we can put redstone dust on top of those three. And then I'm gonna put a block here, here, along the top of the item filters and just close all those, all those off, okay? So bear in mind, we haven't put a block here in between these two because this hopper will be locked by this dust and this hopper will be locked by this dust. So I don't need one here. Okay, so um, I need to light that dust and I'm gonna use a torch to do that. So I'm gonna come down two blocks place a torch, go to the next one, come down two blocks, place a torch, skip one, come down two blocks and place a torch here. And then from here, I want to come up one, two, so I'm just down directly from the torch and across one. And I'm gonna do the same for this one, one, two, and across one one, two, and across one. And we're gonna put a repeater on there, there, and there on one tick. Now, on my left-hand filter, um, my sorry, my left-hand lock, I guess, I'm gonna put a block down here, and I'm gonna run that all the way along to one block before the end of my circuit. And we're gonna run redstone dust, run the back of the repeater, down all the way along here, feeding up to the back of each repeater, all the way along and um, so when I light this dust that will unlock the filters and I want that to happen when there's an item in here and we're going to detect that using a comparator that comparator is going to go into a block here a block underneath it and one across so there I can put a repeater here to extend that signal whoops so that repeater we just placed I want it on three ticks a block and face repeater, come down to break the middle one, 
and we're just going to staircase down now. In actual fact, I think I'm going to have to break that. There we go. So we're going to staircase down onto this bottom line here like that. And I can get rid of those extra blocks if I want to. So that should now be fine in terms of locking the filters and locking them at the right time. Unfortunately, there is a consequence of locking your filters, which is that the items don't flush themselves naturally. We have to go and flush them using an extra circuit. So luckily it's quite easy. I'm going to put a glass block above this, also next to this bottom hopper here, which goes into the chest. And I'm using glass because I want to lock it. I'm going to have redstone dust on there. I'm going to grab my blue blocks, I think. Come out one, and then I'm going to build a two by three platform, like so. But with this corner elevated up by one block. I want a two tick repeater here. That's on two ticks. Dust here and here, 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 and then a comparator pointing into that block and one facing back towards the repeater. So this is a little pulse extender and I want it to power a clock. So we're gonna come up by one there and come to this end piece of dust and I'm gonna face a block into the side of it. Then we just extend this one out by two and we're going to come back from this line of dust by two as well. Now put dust here, a comparator on subtract mode, a repeater on two ticks, and then dust dust. And that'll make a little clock which will power this line and flush any items out through the dropper line. Pop my block back on top of here so that items can't escape. And that should be it done. So we can give it a test if we want. Right, so my password at the moment is red, blue, there's a blue there, a yellow here, and a green here. And hopefully that will turn this torch on. And there it is. And there are the items flushing out of the system. So should be nothing left in any of these now. So that's it, that's your version two pretty much done. Okay, so we finished all of our build and I've been adding a few bits and pieces uh, to, to make it fancy. And hopefully Gizmo is going to come and join us in a moment. And oh yeah, there you are, Gizmo. Oh, hello. Head, head this way, mate. Let's have a look. Okay, I see you. So what I've done is I've added a few uh, circuits onto this. So we are, uh, we've got our output here, but then we're powering a door from that. So okay. uh, I've got a couple of things. I've got a the input chest like you had. I've got a door like you had. And I've done it slightly differently, though. So if you grab a torch, try and open the door. Yeah, it doesn't That's work. Powered. And the reason is, yeah, it's I put it on sideways, like I said earlier, and there's a torch underneath, just here, which powers it. So you have to turn that torch off to open the door. Okay. Um, on the right here, I've got a chest with a whole load of items in. So these are the items that you'll use to make your password. You don't have to carry them around everywhere. And you put them in the password chest on the left. Okay. And I've added a few security things as well. So um, I'll tell you what the password is. It's red, light blue, yellow, lime, light blue. And as soon as you take an item out, this locks and i can't see what's going on okay and then you put them into the password chest i think i got it right let's see oh, i got in I got right. well done and then all the items recycle rather noisily and come back into here and then i can put the password in as well because i know it i'm lo i'm locked in you're locked in right well i'll uh i'll come and help you get out so here we go and we're in and I've left you a little gift Gizmo oh a button yeah this is mocking my lever isn't it yeah yeah it's not going to work is it there's a bit of a clue on the floor of where the button oh. goes there we I go I guess I'm not very smart <laughs> <laughs> And that's just above that torch that we 
uh, showed earlier, so it turns the torch off, empties the door. So there you go. I, I think that's kind of pretty cool. It's really, uh, you know, nice system you've got there. And I'm wondering whether now you'd agree that we could call it the ultimate vault. I guess think? we have to. It's got the sign and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I really like what you've done, Egfer. This is great. Thank you. Gizmo, you've got to talk about the Java version. Ah, uh, that's right. This works on Bedrock Edition and on Java Edition. Uh, it takes some changes, but it'll work on Java Edition. Great. And in the description below, we'll have a world download for both this world and the Java world. That's it for this video, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching. And remember to check out Gizmo's channel and drop him a sub. Thank you. Make sure you sub to Egfer. He's a really great guy. He makes original content, and I really respect that. Great. Thanks, folks. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.